hey guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been it's been a little bit i've been really busy with work and just life stuff but i wanted to hop on here really 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 quickly and give you guys and i really do mean quickly a quick review of this hair that i just got on amazon guys this is gonna be a quick review <laughs> But I just bought this wig on Amazon. Um, it is called Afro Kinky Curly. It is 16 inches, 13 by four parting space. Um, and I love this hair. It, it, it looks a lot like the curly extensions that I showed you guys. And I would say that it's definitely comparable to that. Um, I have just never had a curly wig that was this realistic to my natural hair texture. Like, it is so thick and soft and pillowy. I love this hair. I will say, the hair came in a package. So I got it from Amazon, like I said. Um, it came in a bag. The vendor is called Hair VIP or VIP Hair. Um, straight out the package, I just washed it. I did a little bit of light plucking and I installed it using the ball cap method. Uh, not too much on my lace because I am not good at installing wigs and that was my first time doing the ball cap method. Um, but I don't think that the lace has to be perfect when it's a curly unit, you know? Like usually it looks fine because most people are gonna focus on the hair and not not the lace um but i will show you the lace so i just used some powder obviously like i said you can see the lace um but if you are better at installing wigs than i am you'll be just fine the lace was fine um the hair i find is layered so on the bottom and in the back, it's longer than it is on the top and in the front. Oh, I just can't say enough good things about it. Now, shedding. I did have some shedding. Uh, I think with all curly hair, you have to be prepared for maintenance. This hair is gonna need you to brush, brush, brush and comb it every day every day you should do it every day because what happens with curly hair is people will keep it on for days and the nape starts to tangle i've only been wearing this hair for a couple of days so mine is not tangled yet but if i were you i would not sleep in this hair and if you do sleep in it you absolutely should put it in some big braids and wear a bonnet don't just raw dog your hair out at night it's not a good idea <laughs> it's not a good idea but this is 100% human, if I didn't already tell you guys that. Um, I just, I can't believe this hair is this good. I just can't. And I took a risk because there were only like two reviews when I bought it. But I was like, you know what? If I don't like it, I can just return it, which is what I love about Amazon hair. And the hair is thick. The hair is thick. Let me tell y'all something. The more you play with this hair, the bigger it will get. That doesn't bother me. I love big hair. But if big hair is not your thing, don't buy this wig. If you're used to traditional kinky curly hair and you like, you know, the wet and wavy look, this is not for you. This hair gets big. You see how it is right now? It could get bigger than this. If I keep playing with it, it will, it will grow in volume. But... It just gives me like Tracy Ellis Ross. It gives me no name vibes. Like, yeah. So when you wet the hair and you comb through with the mousse, you're never going to get the wet and wavy look with this hair. Even while it's sopping wet, it doesn't, it will not ever look like a 3B, 3C texture. It's still going to act like four type texture, which is what I like. Okay, it's just so cute. The shape of it, the it's just, it's so cute. <laughs> All right, 
right, let me show y'all what I used on the hair and then we'll wrap this up. I used the Lotta Body Wrap Foaming Mousse when I uh, combed through it. And I used a little bit of Myel just because I had some left. I would not use really expensive products on this hair because it's a wig. You know, why would you do that? And also, I don't want to put too many thick creams and butters in this hair because I don't know how that's going to affect the longevity of this hair. But it's been a few days. Um, buy this wig, guys. It was $117. You can't beat it. You just, you can't beat it. Anyway, uh, let me show you guys a quick little 360 and then I'm going to sign off <laughs> and I'm probably not going to edit this video because it's just not that long. And I just want to get it up there real quick so y'all can see. Okay. And so you can see the texture of it. It is just, oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> it's so pretty. It is 16 inches. I'm 5'4". I think it could be longer than that when you stretch it. But I like that they took into account that the hair is going to curl up. Because sometimes they'll say, oh, it's 16 inches. But it's 16 inches once it's pulled. So once you go ahead and comb it through, it's not going to look like 16 inches. It's going to be up to your, your earlobes. But they definitely accounted for the shrinkage. And the lower layers are long are much much it's cut in like a really cute natural shape like a what is this like a heart shape wolf cut type of deal i don't know um anyways y'all i hope that you enjoyed this video i really 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 hope that y'all buy this hair before they raise the price i don't know if this video is gonna hit youtube's algorithm and the price will go up but this is my favorite curly wig that I've had so far. This video is not sponsored. I bought this wig with my own money. And yeah. So I hope everybody is doing well. I will see you guys. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video.